Please enter the warehouse and report to C7E3 for assignment. I certainly hope that rude C7 unit didn't send you over here. Those more recent models have no etiquette programming whatsoever. I think he should be replaced or shipped down to maintenance to direct droids there. But I cannot seem to convince my masters of the logic of the request. Oh, I wouldn't go that far despite what others would say. A number designation for a C7 unit means far more than an integer increase. Some droids undergo radical changes with each generation. Each numeric jump in sequence can have wide-ranging changes in functionality and temperament. But then, you are a new model yourself. I wouldn't expect you to understand how it feels. Now, was there something I could help you with? I see. Well, good day to you then. I'm sorry, but only authorized cargo droids are allowed into the warehouse. I cannot permit you to enter due to the sensitive cargo. No. In fact, I do not have you on my list of Codin's acquisitions. How did you get in here? I see. Well, I have no current use for you. I'll assign you to C6E3. He needs the help to make up for his inferior programming. If you do not wish to comply with these instructions, I can have you given a memory one and behavioral reprogramming. Good. Now report to C6E3. You will be assisting him. As I said, only authorized cargo droids are given access to the rest of the warehouse. Now please get back to work. I know that C6 unit needs assistance. Shouldn't you be getting back to work? Keep this up and you'll be on the scrap heap by tomorrow. Oh, you're back. What can I do for you? That C7 droid absolutely infuriates me. Needs help to do my job, do I? I would be happy to help you, but as long as that C7 unit is perched at the door, I can't. Well, if the C7 unit were to be disabled, my programming would require me to take over his responsibilities in his absence. Yes, I would be willing to give you access to the next room. As I said, only authorized cargo droids are given access to the rest of the warehouse. Now please get back to work. I know that C6 unit needs assistance. You can't be serious. I am not in need of deactivation. What are you talking about?
Oh my, you startled me. What are you doing here? I monitor the transponder codes of all ships leaving the docks, then transmit departure information for any of Fog of the Hutt's freighters. The information is sent to a remote computer system. Oh, I see. In that case, I will upload the transponder codes to you. And here's the blank transponder card you need. You're welcome. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must go back to monitoring the traffic. It is important that relevant departure information is relayed as quickly as possible. Who are you? You're not supposed to be here. Confident statement. You have the list of Voga's launch codes. You will give these to us now, or else we will be forced to take drastic action. Surprised statement. You are foolish to think we will allow you to take that information back to your master. Amused query. I think you will find the odds are somewhat in our favor. Now will you be giving us the codes, or not? Incredulous statement. Then we will have to take them from you, which I assure you was our preference to begin with.
enter the warehouse and report to C7E3 for assignment. Wait! Where are you going? You are not authorized to leave the warehouse. Hey, it's our astromech droid. I thought you got sold. I don't believe this. He says he's got the transponder codes that Godo's using to hijack Voga's freighters. We can change the ID signature of the Ebon Hawk and get to Godo's yacht that way. We could go to the repair shop by the landing pad to overhaul the Ebon Hawk's codes. From there, we should make a nice target for Godo. Count me in. Yeah, right. You're the one who wanted to sell him to Godo in the first place. Yeah, and I don't like being cheated, trust me. Goto's yacht is going to have some pretty heavy defenses. You're gonna need all the help you can get.